Hi, Fit Me family. Happy Sunday. This is the first time we've ever done a pre-recorded um, Fit Me family meeting, and I'm kind of excited about it. I like seeing your faces, and so this will be the exception rather than the rule, but I figure on holidays and things like that where um, we all kind of struggle to be in one place at one time, including myself, this is a great way for us to talk and connect um, with our target for the week, and we don't have to miss the meeting. So I look forward to seeing you in in like our normal time, normal way next week. Um, but I've got your target for the week. So first off, um, announcement, a couple of you guys have seen on my, uh, my stories, my Instagram stories, uh, mentions of the fit me app. And I have told you guys about that, that it is coming. I am very excited that that will be, um, to you guys in the very, very near future future. Um, and so we are in the final stages of testing and I'm super, super pumped because this is going to replace your, um, your tracker, your Google sheets tracker altogether. It's also going to be a way that you can communicate with your coach, that you can share information about what you're doing, that you can customize some of your, your daily targets. Um, you can see what other people are succeeding in doing. It's going to be so cool. Um, and it syncs. If you're somebody who wears an Apple watch or a Fitbit, it syncs with those. Um, but if it, if you don't wear those, that's fine. Cause you can still use the app for all sorts of things. So, um, just a little sneak peek preview of what's to come, but the fit me app is like right around the corner. Um, we're also going to use it to share, uh, things like this, um, where maybe there's a call replay or maybe there's an announcement, um, you will get that notification from your FitMe app. So um, I cannot wait for you guys to get it. And uh, second, second announcement is if you are going to the Maryland event, I cannot believe we are only two weeks away, um, but your metabolism audit homework is due tomorrow. Um, Remember the metabolism audit is optional. So if you would just want to use it as like a learning experience, you do not need to do the homework piece. But if you want the personalized review with personal recommendations based off of you, your exercise history, your diet history, and really how to improve, you know, what does metabolism even mean? Well, to be honest, it just means how well does your body burn calories? How well do you take food, turn it into energy? energy, use that energy, you know, and um, how does your body store body fat? That's really what we're talking about. And so we're going to take a look, we're going to deep dive into your, you know, your history of what you've done in the past, what you've eaten before, how you've exercised, what you're currently eating right now. Um, we're going to get a picture of how your body is doing right now. Again, like it doesn't mean bad or good. It just means it's information, right? It's like, if, if you are interested in this information, well, then we as your coaches can give you some feedback. If you're like, you know what, it's not for me, but I'm interested, I just don't need the personalized part. Then when you're there at the Maryland event, you're going to hear a ton of good stuff that you're going to be able to use without the individual audit. But if you want the individual uh, audit and you get personalized recommendations that are practical, um, so things that you can use like in your everyday life, then your homework is due at the end of the day tomorrow. Um, so get that over to Coach Molly so that we can work on it because we're working on those on Tuesday. Um, so I think that's it for the announcements. I cannot wait to see you guys in Maryland. Um, the Maryland registration is closed, um, but Washington is still open. And so um, it's just a couple weeks until I get to see a whole bunch of your faces in Maryland. So yeah, that's it for the announcements. Um, metabolism audit and the app. So the target for the week, you know, it's, it's Labor Day weekend. So a lot of you have tomorrow off. And... I wanted to share something. We've talked about this in a couple of different ways in regards to like the seven day reset. Now the seven day reset encourages you to clean out your environment, but I want to be specific today. I want to challenge you to do something specific with your environment. Um, and if you have time today, great. And if not, then I want you to tackle this tomorrow. And if you need help, if you're like, I actually don't even know how to do that, then reach out to your coach because this is what your target is anyway. 
So we're getting ready to go into the fall. This is a busy season for a lot of people. If you have kids, it's busy. If you don't have kids or they're grown, it's still busy because it's a new season. Um, Things just change when the seasons change. So we go into this season sort of with the idea that our kitchen should support our activities. And we need some of that to happen automatically. Well, one of the best things that you can do is to organize the places that you spend time so that you can get stuff quickly and that it feels good when you open it. And I know that you're like, well, Chrissy, like, yes, but tell me more because what do you mean? Well, here's the challenge for the week. It's simple. I want you to clean out your fridge. And the reason is, is because If your fridge is organized, if it is clean, if you've got things stacked clearly, or even if you just like give it a fresh, you know, a fresh wipe down, it just changes how you feel when you open it. And I know I'm right. And it's subtle, but it matters. When your stuff is stacked and piled all over each other, it's hard. It's hard to reach past something and reach for those veggies. If they're buried in the back, they're going bad. Um, this is something we've got to do periodically anyway, but it's something that nobody really talks about in terms of how it's connected with eating healthy. I feel like pidge, pidge, fridge and pantry cleanouts are this kind of like unsung hero of healthy choices. Um, and if your fridge is in super great shape, like you just cleaned it out or something, then you get to do your pantry. Um, But the fridge to me is more doable. You can pull everything out. So here's what I consider a fridge clean out. And you know what's so funny is my fridge gets cleaned and organized every couple of months. Um, But it was fun when the FitMe team came here last year for our FitMe team training. Um, Leah actually tackled my fridge, which was funny because we were so busy getting ready for everybody to come that it was not in great shape when everybody got here. But after she helped me tackle my fridge, we just kind of worked on it together. Again, there was no judgment or weirdness about it. It was like, let's get this sorted and organized. We got a lot of people in this house. We're going to be getting a lot of food out of here. Like let's, let's organize. Um, it felt so much better. And so I want to challenge you to do the same. So here's what I would suggest you do. This is just my couple quick, easy steps. I recommend that your counters are cleaned off and you take everything out of the fridge. This is the first step. It's harder to clean it if you leave stuff in there and you're just kind of shifting stuff around. So step one, everything come out of the fridge. Then what I want you to do is I want you to wipe it down and clean it. Mine has like little uh, shelves that I can take out. Um, And the best way to clean it, there's two ways. But if there's kind of like greasy stuff on there, then you actually want to use like Dawn dish soap or just your normal dish soap. So I put it in the sink and you can kind of scrub it and wash it. Um, and dry it, dry it key, because if you don't dry it, when you, when you put it back in, it gets kind of like a weird film on it. Um, or you can use sprays. If you like spray, you can do a spray on there. Um, so you're going to pull everything out, like all the food, all the condiments, everything. Like I'm talking about the, the sides of it, all of it, wipe everything down. So it's fresh and clean, like the, the shelves and the little doors, Next, I want you to take a look at your condiments and everything else that you got out on the counter because you need to throw away the stuff that doesn't need to go back. So that's step two. After you've wiped everything and cleaned it, I guess that's step three because you pulled everything out, you wiped it down and cleaned it. Now step three is throw away the stuff that doesn't go back. So that can be old condiments, that could be old vegetables, it could be leftovers, it could be all sorts of stuff. Throw it away next you need to put the fresh things like veggies the stuff that goes bad that if you don't see it and use it you're not going to think about it it needs to be in a place you can see it so I highly recommend if you have one of those drawers with like see-through that that's where your veggies go now coach Lauren is kind of like a meal prep monster and she has some really cool ways to store veggies so if you're not sure shoot her a Marco Polo but I like to put it in the drawer. You can actually see it. And then you can put stuff that's like, you know, um, 
little hummus things or whatever that that kind of stick around for a long time. Those can go in the back of the fridge. You know, those can go back there. Or even like the larger condiments, like those kind of things can go in the back of the fridge. Um, next, you just organize it however you want. I'm not going to like micromanage your fridge. I'm just giving you a couple of tips that kind of matter. Um, and at the end of the day, it should feel good. This should be something that you're like, yep, I'm setting myself up for success. This is going to matter when I have a busy day and I have like healthy choices that I'm going to grab real quick. It's going to help me eat those vegetables so they don't go bad. And I just am taking care of my space. I'm taking care of my environment. And those are just one of the things that add up. Um, It impacts the choices that we make. Um, So if you are overwhelmed by this, and you're like, mm, yeah, my my fridge is a disaster or I don't know if I can do it. I would like to suggest that you first just shoot your coach a message. Um, it doesn't have to be something you tackle by yourself. And it doesn't have to be something that's done in its entirety like I'm describing. So if your task for the week feels overwhelming, I want you to reach out to your coach and let them know. And just be like, hey. I do want to clean my fridge, but it feels epic. What's like one or two small steps I could do that would be in the right direction, but that doesn't feel so overwhelming. I'm totally, totally down with that. And like I said, if this is easy for you, one, you can still do it because maybe it's time anyway, if you just do this on the regular, um, but two, pick a different space. Maybe it's time for like pantry. Um, maybe it's time for like your cooking zone to get a fresh look. So you can pick your place if this is already easy. Um, And then what I'd like you to do is think about that when you do this again, whether it's in a couple weeks, if it's once a week, if it's once a month, that you already know how to do it. And it can be just part of your regular routine. So I know this is a very, very practical action step, but I thought it was appropriate for the holiday weekend because I bet you've got some time. And you've got, maybe you have tomorrow off, so you're going to get this message on Sunday and you can do this action on Monday if you want to. Um, But I still want you to reach out to your coach. So remember, you know, the way that this works is you get this kind of prompt on Sunday. It's your action step for the week, but I want you to do something with it and then talk to your coach about it. Even if it's just accountability, coach did it, check shoot them a Marco Polo and let them know. But at the end of the day, it's usually great to have a conversation about it. Like if you're like, I did it, now what? What do we talk about? Then talk about how your week goes with you grab and go food because really that's the point. The point of this is so that when you're grabbing or you're building you're building your meals, that it's easier and that it feels good. So if talk to them about that um, if, the kit, if the fridge part is, is a done deal. Um, so that is your target for the week. I will see you back in person next week, like normal on our normal zoom call. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Um, just reach out if you need anything and then I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.